All right, let's take a look at the door handles here. I'll go ahead and hit that slash key on the number pad to isolate this. Um, I can get rid of the mirror modifier for now. Let's do that. And uh, let's tab into edit mode and take a look at it. Now, let me move this up some. I feel like I want a little bit more room here. Let's begin here. I'll hit the L key for this and zoom in. And this is a fairly complicated piece to UV map here. And look at what's happening here. As I tumble around, I'm clipping into the object. And that's a little annoying. Let's fix this. I'll hit the N key to open up the sidebar here. And let's go to View. And in the clip start, it's beginning to clip the object at 0.1 meters. So let's take that down to, say, 0.01 meters and that helps so we're not going to get that clipping when we zoom in real close here all right um, for this let's begin by breaking this piece out from the cylindrical part so let's just alt click this edge all the way around here and let's press Control e and mark a seam here now we know this is going to be broken out from this so now let's come in here and maybe select this edge and this edge. Actually, I'm extending it all the way to here, and I don't want to do that. I can just go ahead and shift-click and deselect these right here. There we go. And then let's mark seam here. Control-E, mark seam. And I don't think we need these faces in here. We're never going to see those, so let's not worry about those and just delete them. Now for these circles, we're going to have to select the edges all the way around each of these. Um, and when we do, the interior will be split out on its own. But we want the interior to lay out flat. So I think we better add a seam, say, at the top of each of these, like this. Control-E, mark seam. And the reason why I'm putting them up at the top is to try and hide them. So we're probably going to be seeing the vehicle from a more top-down view most of the time, I would say. So if I put the seams up top, that's going to hide them away. All right, let's alt-click this edge here and this edge. And let's do that for all of these. Like this. Make sure I didn't... Oh, I did select an extra one in there. All right, let's mark a seam here. And let's uh, do the same thing over here. I'll Alt-click these. Alt-Shift-click. There we go. And mark seam here. Okay. So we've got that part of the handle done. Let's now come over here and work on this cylindrical part. Um, I think we could probably break the base out from the rest with a seam right here. Let's do that. And how should we do the rest? Well, let's take a look at it and see how it does once we UV map it. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to press the L key. Oh, and I'll hover over that bolt and press the L key as well. And let's just test UV mapping it and see how it goes. I'm going to hit U and unwrap. And there we go. So there are a couple things here. First of all, we could come down to this Unwrap Settings panel and change from the angle-based method to the conformal and see if that helps any. And it doesn't really help any. And you see this kind of oval shape to a circular piece? That kind of tells me that we don't have our scale applied for this object. So let's tab into Object Mode and uh, press Control-A and apply the scale. And then if we tab back into edit mode, and with this still selected, let's press U and unwrap. And yeah, see how much more even those are? So that's good. This, I think, is going to be this piece over here. But this, this is what I wanted to see. This is still kind of a mess, and that's this part right here. I think we're going to need to redo that. And also, take a look at the circles. We've got this overlapping areas here once again, just like we saw on the cab of the vehicle. So we're probably going to have to triangulate those faces as well. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's select this face and this face, and let's press Control-T. 
and that'll triangulate those and you see how that cleans it up pretty well and let's select these two and press Control t and there we go okay so we've got those done this over here this this thing right here is not real good because you see how small this is in comparison to the rest that means we're going to have quite a bit of stretching and we can check that by applying that uv test pattern material to it right here and going over to the look dev right here yeah you see how much stretching we've got these squares really tiny here and then up here we've got these huge squares here and that's that's just too much we can have a little bit of warping here and there like here but this is just way too much so let's go back to our solid view and let's see what we can do with this i think first of all what i'll do is maybe just select not this edge right here i'll begin by selecting this edge and then maybe control click these edges on around like this and then maybe let's also select this edge along here and kind of split this whole thing out let's mark a seam there and then let's kind of do the same thing over here let's uh select this edge with alt click and then i'll alt shift click this all the way around here and let's mark a seam here and if we're going to have this cylindrical piece right here we probably better give it a seam so it'll lay out flat so let's add a seam right down here and i guess we should go ahead and extend this on around down like this as well let's try this okay so we've got those the last thing i see here is this piece right here let me go to face mode so this piece right here let me tumble around there we go like this this piece right here is still all one piece and it's going to try and lay this out in a in a circular pattern so to get it to lay down flat i feel like we should add one edge right here okay so let's let's hit the l key and with the bolt there too and then let's press u and unwrap over here now what do we see yeah so you can see how now these pieces are more proportional to the rest of the object we've cleaned up the areas with the circles and this area over here is laying down flat as well if i come over here and click on uv sync now i can come over and select these faces here and you can see how they're laying down in a row right here this part right here now what we're seeing here the overlapping is all these other pieces over here so we need to deal with those as well let me turn off uv sync here there we go all right so we've done this piece here i think one last thing i want to do is maybe just split this out um, with a couple of edges let me just uh select this one this one this one and this one and i'm just going to split this out like this probably not necessary but let's go ahead and do it and then let's hit u and unwrap and see how we do yeah see that splits that out there all right and we can also switch from angle based to conformal and see if there's any changes here angle based yeah i mean i think i like angle based a little bit better for this particular object all right let's try the next one here this thing right here let's um maybe just select this edge and this edge and let's mark seams there and let's see how that works i'll hit the l key and let's press u and unwrap yeah that looks fine all right so for this one we could go through the process of uv mapping all of this but you know what we could also do is just select this and delete it we could kind of cheat here <laughs> we could delete it grab this go back to reference images and if we go over here let's actually go back to our layout and let's go to wireframe here and now what we can do is tab into edit mode select this whole thing and let's just duplicate it let's move it over here put it in place right there 
Now we could spin it in the X with RX180. Oh, the, <laughs> the bolt didn't come along. So what let's do is let's deselect this part. I'll press Shift L to deselect that bolt. And then let's just move this over into place right here, right? So we're just uh, kind of cheating a bit, but if we've already UV mapped one, why go through the process of UV mapping the other? Okay, so we've got now the doors and the door handles. Let's, uh, in the next video, work on the windows here and maybe on the hinges as well.